Hi, I've, I've just sketched out this uh, sort of a, a Kent scene of a couple of some some farm buildings and a couple of host houses, one behind the other. So uh, it was quite a simple painting. The drawing's simple enough. So I'm going to begin with uh, wetting the, the paper. This is a, a ninety-pound rough paper. Very, very good. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to do a snow scene, a simple snow scene. Okay, as the paper expands, then I'll uh, reclip it and uh, got plenty of cloth. A cup of tea, the usual. I'll use a variety of uh, brushes. So let's get a warmy sky. Come all over. And when you paint snow, it reflects the uh, the sky. And okay, so let's have a bit of a lizard in there, I think. The this one's not a very strong colour, but it's just just there or thereabouts. And we'll put in a a nice dark brooding sky. Okay, this all dries lighter when you put it on. Oh, we'll get a, uh, I'll put a bit of uh, no one. I'll just I'll just let that go. I'll, as that dries, I'm going to just sort of add to it. In fact, I'll do that now. So this sort of dries to nothing really, which is what I want. That's the broody wintry sky. Right down there, let's just bring that across there. Bit of shadow on the snow. Okay, I'll the paper. That's got a little bit too red there. And I'm not bothered I can go over that. So you don't need to stretch the paper, just keep uh, just pulling it gently. Well not you don't have to be too gentle, will it? Okay, let's get that just a bit more blue on there. All my snow scenes with host houses I lean on Roland Hilda. I don't copy Roland Hilda, I've got my own way of doing things now. But when I first started out with watercolours I used his uh, instruction books and struggled and struggled to do things. As we all do, it's not easy. But I learnt my, my uh, skies, not skies, my, my trees, my winter trees from him. And I love winter trees, autumn trees. Far more interesting than, than greens. But the, 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 in autumn or late autumn, the, the, you'll always find green in the landscape because you've got evergreens. 
and uh, a few a few leaves on the trees. But what you have got is uh, a canopy of twigs, and and he used a shorthand for showing it, but by dry brushing, which I use. Uh, I, I want to just dry that off a bit now. So mute your sound, and we'll just dry it, and then we'll carry on. Ready, go. Most houses, as you probably know, are you were used for drying hops, <coughs> for beer making, and I know Kent uh, very well. I've had many holidays um, in Canterbury, Folkestone, uh, and you still see the oast houses, although now they're they're country cottages, they're desirable residences, having been developed as uh, into living accommodation. Uh, Right, I, I, I'm going to use my smaller hake now. I'm going to just put in a bit of background, just a bit of, bit of that. And then just Kentish Hills. So that horizon. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll put a bit, bit of foreground before I start doing these buildings. I just want to let that dry off a little bit. I'll just put in a bit of bit of tea tile. Nice bit of. Just a bit of black. A bit of burnt sienna. Bit of. Okay, do you know, let's just. Nothing too difficult there. Because the paper's a bit drier now, it will accept a bit of dry brush. And now I want to put in some some uh, ploughed land, ploughed ground, ground. This hake is starting to lose hairs quite a lot now, so I've got another one. A bit of burnt sienna, a bit of uh, raw sienna. And um, we'll just wet enough. Put in some of this autumn ploughing, which will show where the snow has gone in the furrows. I want a bit, bit of a sienna and a bit of black. Right. A little bit of right there. Let's see where the hate was. The hate can be very infuriating. Just come off the pace there a little bit. Okay. Well, uh, uh, we'll put some bushes up there, and we'll have another little field here, I think. That's still not dry, so I'm just going to carry on developing this bit here. Now, rich greens, the black is very strong.
Okay, I quite like that. And we'll uh, let's put in some across here. Have it sort of two dimensional ploughing. Put it all in. Now a bit more of that black and sienna. Because the black gets in everything. So I have to watch that. Bit of water there. Try to get a green in there just to separate the plough bits. It's a very dark blacky green. Okay. Wash the lake, and we'll go into doing the buildings, I think. So, uh, it's quite, Roland Hilda would use uh, quite a lot of black, and he would paint great holes in the roof with black. So we're going to do the same. So. Where the where the uh, the snow slips, and we'll have some here. Some in this roof here. And some in there. And he um, he would use I'm gonna use a bit of burnt sienna with my black. They're great mixers, so you get a nice warm warm dark. So let's just put in this barn. In the shadow area, you can always uh, put some snow in front and a bit, a bit, a bit of gouache. Use, use ink. Try and keep things vertical. These are they're just old barns, really. I'm not going to do any great day detail. I don't want to be all afternoon. Okay, let's have a bit of bit of light on here. I 
I struggled to do this with uh, Fabiano. Right, back to back to black. Well, back to black Sienna. Well, I've put a bit of sienna in there. Right, now I'm going to wash, now I'm going to wet these these things here, these oasts. Going to see if I can take some black. Now we're getting some burnt sienna. smaller than the other. And a little bit of shadow. I think there's lovely bastards. I'll uh, these are the sort of cows that move these around pretty by hand. graduate that. Okay. Better. Okay. Maybe I'll just get a little bit of a Okay, that's as careful as I'm going to be. Okay, now we'll put in some shadow on that roof around these things here. Probably just a little bit too strong.
A very gentle sky colour on, on here. to separate that roof there. I'll do that in a minute. Uh, and the shadow. making such a good job of this. Uh, I'll keep most of that white there, that one. It's not too bad. Right, let's get a bit of bit of a sienna on the roof. The stack here. Try a bit, I'll put a bit of light or see on the other side. Now, chimneys. I'm sure I can do this, but if you just leave a bit of a gap, mm, missed it. Bit of a gap, most of the chimneys. Okay, so, so far, so not so good. Uh, uh, Okay, now I'll put in some darker notes on here. The barn door painted black. show. Okay. Right. Uh, a shadow under those eaves. Under here. Right, 
Okay. That's about like we're not going to get there, I think. So showing the trying to show the the, the roof line by using the slipped snow. Right, a little bit of raw sienna. Or oh, bumper. Just get up here. Okay, that'll do. Right, now I'm going to start to, to do these trees. So this is the dry brush now. So we'll mix up a bit of bit of sienna and a bit of black. And we'll start doing these these shapes on the rough paper. Try and get a nice shape. down here. Put in some some of that darker and collide them with the water pot now. Okay that that's fine. That'll <coughs> I'm put some green greenery. Bit of sienna, bit of cad yellow, bit of black. Bushes. Bit of an evergreen around there. And the tree will come out of that. We'll do some, some here. So that will establish that roof line. A bit of sienna in there. So you can use your trees, your, your evergreens, to to form a nice shape. I have my trees coming out of that. Right. So we'll do we'll do some distant, more distant ones. We'll we we'll put those in a bit of blue and a bit of bit of the black. And go off the paper. See so that blue and the black make a lovely, lovely distant grey. So that's how we show that roof by painting a bit of dark over it. And we can do the same on the other side. OK. 
I know what I'll do now, it's a bit of strengthen that up a bit, that's a little bit weak. So a bit of nice warmer. So a bit of green in there. and stuff. And some in there on the other side, but darker. That's not quite dry then really, but see there we go. Right. I'll leave that for a minute. I'll just get a bit of darker blue over the other side, on, the, on top of that roof there, I think. There. Same there. Okay. Not so sure about that. I'll put in some shadow because the light is coming from from there. So we'll we'll just put in a little bit of a bit of this. Lovely brush. Okay, um, I'm gonna put some bits of snow on there. I think this is taking a while, but a uh, bit of rigor work. Now I'm just gonna dry that off. That hasn't sort of turned out as well as I'd, I'd hoped, so I was hoping for a bit more. Uh, the black has just sort of dried in a bit too much. So let's just... Do that. Same there. Clean brush. Clean water, so I think. And then just touch the edge of it. So that it bleeds. A bit better. Okay, a bit, bit of blue in here. Bigger, I think. Just an assortment of chunks and things. More blue in there. That's a slightly more distant.
see these ones. He said, put that in a bit too, too wet. I'm going to make a bit more of that one, I think. With thick branches, trunks. I could be here forever doing this. As long as you get the idea. So where where I put the uh, the wash, you need to put in some calligraphy for it to justify it. Okay, so so that will do for that. Um, Okay, well I'm going to just put in some right. Uh, and there's a bit more dark in there, so a bit of sienna, a bit of black, or sienna. too wet. I want to dry brush it. I want it to show, I didn't want it to be too too light along there. So as I say, it all dries lighter than you you would think. Right now a bit of uh, gouache just to give some bits of snow on the, the horizon.
find some bits of snow in here. Okay, well I'm not too displeased with that, I think. Get the idea. Well, there we are, we've got a painting, haven't we? That's it for today. I'll put it in a mount, in the dirty old white mount. Put that on it. I'll zoom, zoom out. Let's see if I can just get that more square on. Okay. A miserable old day. Well, there we are. We've got another another cat scene <coughs> that didn't go quite according to plan. We could have a couple of birds. I mean, what, what birds are all going to go down well, don't they? I think I'd prefer my sky like that than hard edged. I like the softness. Okay, well thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll see you Monday. Bye bye.